Hey, this is Eric with programwitheric.com, and today we're going to talk about having multiple models in one route. So, in some cases, in your applic in your Ember application, you might have a scenario where you have multiple models. You have one route you want all those models to be displayed in, but uh, they don't be they don't have any relationship. They don't have a has many and belongs to relationship to it. And it's not like you have one comment or like a post with many comments um, or and you don't want to do nested routes that's another way you can do it if you have multiple levels of routes but let's say you only have one route and you want to do it so uh, let's go ahead and create a quick example of that so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my example here I have I already created the project for us so we're gonna go and install everything we need just first before we start we're gonna use Ember CLI Mirage on my last route video, I explained it a little bit. It's just a way to mock up some data. So I'm just going to go through this quickly here. I already have Ember CLI Mirage installed, but normally if you didn't have install, you would type in Ember install Ember CLI Mirage, like that. But let's go ahead and get a few models in here. So we're going to use the blueprint generator for Ember CLI Mirage, and we're going to just create a few things here. We're going to have a book, and we're going to have an author. And once again, we'll assume that these aren't related to each other. I know it does sound like they would be, but just for the sake of this simplicity of this tutorial, we have, we'll make sure that they aren't related. And we'll go over that in a future tutorial on how to do has many relationships uh, or belongs to relationships. So we have the three uh, factories here uh, installed. And we'll go ahead and add a few other things we need for application. We need an adapter, because we're going to use the REST adapter. And by default, Ember defaults the JSON API, so we want to make sure we have the application. We're going to create a route for our application. And we're going to say no here. So there already is an application template. And now we're just going to use the model book title string. So we're going to have a model called book. And it's just going to have one property called title. And it's just going to be a string. And we're going to keep these really simple. Uh, so we have a book. We're going to have an author. Just going to have a name property. And then finally, we're going to have a publisher, and we're going to use publisher string, a publisher property with string. All right, so first thing we need to do is go in into our Mirage server here. We see we have author, book, and publisher. Contact comes by default, just to kind of give you an idea how it works. So we're going to go into author here, and... I'm just going to copy and paste what I have here. Okay. So we have an author there. And then for book, we're going to call it the book has a title. And there's a whole, if you ever figure, if you don't know what to do here, there's a readme in the Bower Components folder under Faker, which you can then find out all the different commands for it to generate some fake data. And then finally, publisher, and also always remember to uncomment out the Faker at the top, otherwise it won't work. I've done that before. And we'll call this author, call this publisher. Okay, and we'll go back to our scenarios. Now I went ahead and earlier created this, so I'll just uncomment it. We're just going to create 10 books, 10 authors, and 10 publishers. And in our config file, I'm just going to uncomment this. This just says that we have books, 
authors and publishers and they're all going to be at books authors and publishers and this is the convention that we need for the rest adapter and where it's going to retrieve information so if we go back to adapters we don't want the json api so we're just going to delete that put rest okay so and now we need to double check here our routes we have our application route here and as you know in routes this is where you set your model data so what we want to do is uh, in our model is return multiple models now you can't just go return like in a like just multiple models any single way you want the best way to do it is to use something called ember rsvp hash and what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that all these all these different models get all their information before it renders so we'll do book here that's going to be author publisher that's author and that's publisher Uh, but we're not quite done. Uh, the model information will turn this MBRS VP hash, but we have to tell the controller um, by default the model will be uh, the controller will have access to the model, and therefore our template will have access to our model. But since we're doing this MBRS VP hash, we'll need to uh, set up the controller a different way. So to do that, we have to use the setup controller hook. And if you ever get confused, you can also always go to the Ember API. And I just looked up setup controller. It's under the ember.route. And it tells you how the setup controller hook sets the model property of the controller to the model. Um, and so you can then set up your own controller and your own model any way you like. So you, this is a great. You can always look this up to do what you need to do. So we'll go back to our application here, and controller models, and this will do controller dot set properties models, and this will set all the properties uh, for the model that we just created here, and it'll set up correctly, so we don't have to worry about anything. So there's one more thing we need to do. So now we've used this MBRS VP hash. These should all resolve before this will return, which is good. We set the controller up. We're using the REST adapter. Or hopefully we set up Mirage correctly. So now we just need to go into our templates, our application controller, our application template that is. And we'll just make something like this. Book. We'll end it. And then we use block style here, book as book. Close it. And we named it, the reason it's called book is because we named it in the setup controller book. So we'll go book.title. And before we, let's see if this worked. By the way, I also have a server. Oh, there is a problem in our models. One second. Um, I think I know what the problem is. Let me take a look here. Back to application. And we have each book as book. We forgot this right here. Let's see. Our server still giving us errors. One second. Okay. And okay. We're okay now. We just need to stop and restart the Ember server. And okay, everything looks okay. All right, so let's see if it rendered correctly. So we'll just open localhost 4200. And we'll see what's wrong here. Oh, 
by another typo here. So let's go take a look at the routes. I have capital all here. This should be lowercase. There we go. You loaded? All right, there we are. So now we have the books, and the books are loaded. We can use the Ember Inspector from the last video to make sure this data is correct. So if we go to data, book, see here's the names, which is right, Lou, Lou. So we are pulling the correct book data, which is good. So let's go back to our template. Put in title there. And we'll just copy all this. We'll paste it. And we'll paste it again. And we'll call this author. 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 Oops. And then finally we'll change this book to publisher. Now in Vim you can do a find all and just change them all at once, but We'll just do this for now. And one other change. Author has a name and publisher has a publisher. So let's see if that worked. Okay, we got our authors, we got our publishers, so we don't have our authors here. So we have to find out what's wrong here. Each author is author. Yep, each author is author, but if we click on authors here, you see they're all undefined, so something happened here. So I may have a mirage, I have author, oh, I have author here. It should be, we'll just put it, set it to name. And there it is. So I got all my books, authors, and publishers. So. You can see here author, Charity Casper, Winfred Block, publisher. So these are, these are all matching. So we know that it's pulling the correct information. We were able to get all three models into our application route. And we're all set. So this is just a quick example of how to grab multiple models and put them into one route. If you have uh, any questions, please leave a comment below. And also... Please double um, check out my Ember.js cookbook. I have the link in the description in below and also has a link to my uh, mailing list if you want to join my mailing list at programwitheric.com. Thanks.